And here we are. It is Wednesday, April 8th already. And we are here for our Pilates Yoga Combo. So all we need today is our mats and our bodies, our breath, and our brain. We're going to start with some relaxation. So let's go ahead and relax down our mats. It'll let your arms be restful at your sides, palms open face to the sky. And I want you to close your eyes and start to breathe deeply in through your nose, expanding your belly back and ribcage as you inhale. And exhale out through your mouth. And I want you to really focus on exhaling and pushing the air out as you force the air out through a smaller space by either clenching your teeth or pursing your legs. And while we continue to breathe, we're going to shift awareness into our arms. I want you to stretch your arms from your shoulders to your fingertips. Just tighten the muscles in your arms and let everything else remain relaxed. And then I want you to relax your arms and shift awareness to your legs. And we're going to stretch our legs from our hips to our toes. So we've got this nice long stretch in our legs. And then go ahead and relax your legs. Now let's shift awareness into the belly. I want you to tighten your belly. Remember to create the sensation that you're pulling down on the back side of your navel and try to press it against your spine without holding your breath, without tensing the rest of your body. Let that belly go soft. And let's try doing that again. Navel to spine, hold it in as tightly as you can. No holding your breath, no tensing the rest of your body. And then go ahead and let the belly relax. From there, it's inhaling the arms skywards. And exhale them right back down alongside your body. Inhale skyward again. And exhale, float down. This time we're going to inhale skyward, but exhale, reach behind you. Let's stretch out through all of our fingers and toes. Make your body as long and straight as you can. And then while you're doing that, flex your feet. Really feel everything lengthen. Now let your body go soft. Lift the arms back up. And let's return them to our sides. From there, we're going to tuck our knees nice and close to the body. Give yourself a hug. And let's do a few rocks from side to side. So we're going to massage our spine. And from there, let's circle the knees around and around and massage our lower back. And then let's reverse that circle. And we'll keep the knees tucked in really close. Now I want you to tighten your belly, press to the back of your rib cage, shoulders neck and hug off the floor, nose to your knee. Now keep your right knee in and send your left leg all the way out onto the mat. Let's roll the head back down and simply point and flex our right foot. Roll the ankle around, lead with your big toe. And then just rest your foot. And let's bring the left knee back in. Once again, tighten the belly, come on up into your C shape. We'll keep the left knee in this time, push your right leg to the mat. Rest your head back down and flex and point your left foot. Now roll your ankle around, lead with your big toe towards that midline of the body. And then just rest your foot. Now we're ready for both knees tucked in really close, close, close. And I want you to tighten your belly like we've been doing and come on up in your C shape. Make a triangle with your thumb and index fingers, placing that light knee on the back of our head. We're going to separate the knees, start with your heels touching and your toes apart. Inhale, push the legs out, exhale, pull back in, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, inhale, last one, inhale, exhale. Now this time we should push out, big toes together, heels apart, and then heels together, toes apart. So we've got an arrow and a B, arrow and B, so we have a little rotation, rotate in and two, and one more time. 
And then remain there and bring your knees and feet together. Scrunch up your toes, push through your arches, pull back in. So with that inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Continue but flex your feet. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last two, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now just extend the legs out for me and point and flex your feet. Four, three, two, and hold there. Arms at your sides, palms facing up. We're starting our hundreds. Inhale for five feet and exhale for five feet. Level two, let's modify bending the knees. Level one, rest your feet down. Continue to pump your arms. A good six to eight inches high off the mat. And make sure the upper body remains very still. So we're not feeling any movement in that upper body. Let's try one more round. Hold yourself right there. Tuck your knees in. Rest your head down. All right, now that we feel a little bit warmer, we're ready for some roll-ups. Knees set, feet on the floor. Squeeze your legs tight together. Let your arms rest behind you on the mat. Shoulders open. As we inhale, let's lift the arms. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, scooping the belly and roll us up. Stretch as far as you can reach. And then inhale. Exhale, tuck. And we roll around down. Again, inhale, lift your arms. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to come up. Stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale again. And exhale, tuck. And roll down. Inhale, arms come up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, you should belly to roll you up. Stretch as far as you can. Big inhale. And then exhale as you tuck and roll down. Let's try again. Inhale, arms up. Drop the shoulders back. Exhale, you should belly to roll you up. Stretch as far as you can. Big inhale. And then exhale as you tuck and roll down. So if you're confident that you're not using your legs, you should come out nice and straight. Inhale, arms up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, belly pulls us all the way up. Where we inhale, and then exhale and roll back down. Again, inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, so we want to try to really work in making this as smooth as we can. Inhale, and then exhale, smoothly rolling back to the mat. Let's try two more. Inhale, arms come up, down, roll those shoulders. Exhale, using your belly to pull us up. Stretch as far as we can reach. Big inhale. Exhale as we tuck and roll back down. Let's try one more of those. Inhale, arms up, drop the shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can reach. The inhale again. Let us get exhale, tuck and roll back down. And then once we made it down, we get to just stretch our body really straight. Lift the arms up. And let's return them to our sides. From here, I want you to bend your knees and walk your feet in. We're going to keep them about this distance apart. And I want you to turn your toes in slightly and your heels out slightly. And we're going to keep our heels a good six or eight inches away from our buttocks so that we're really activating gluteals and hamstrings. Tighten the belly and the buttocks. Let's slowly start to peel off the floor, lifting up into our shoulder bridge. No weighted crank in the neck. And then exhale as we melt ourselves back down. Again, inhale, let's tighten the belly and the buttocks and slowly come off the mat, pushing our hips up nice and high. One to the air, we're just holding on to it. And then exhale as we come back down. Again, inhale as we lift, slowly come up. Think about unzipping the zipper one, two at a time. And then exhale as we melt back down one, two at a time. The zipper closes back up. Again, inhale, let's unzip the zipper one vertebra at a time. Now, once we've made it all the way up, let's bring right knee in, extend your right leg towards the sky, and lower and lift that leg. So, flex, point down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Four and three. How about two and one? Let's pull their leg up. Gonna go a little higher and then tiny circles up there. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse and they're really small. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna pull there. Let's rebend. Go ahead and place that foot down and switch. Left knee pulls in. Nice and strong and straight. Still in our bridge. Last point down. Up. Down, up, 
down, up, four, and three, have out, two, and one, stay up, a little higher, we circle up there, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reverse, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, big hold, go ahead and bend your knee, place your foot back down, keep bridging, and then one vertebra at a time, we melt that into the neck. Once you've made it back down, you can give yourself a nice tight hug. A couple little rocks to massage that spine. Knee circles, massaging lower spine. And reverse. And then just hang out right there. Tighten your belly. Let's come back up into our C shape. Now you should extend your arms alongside your body off the mat, palms to the ceiling. And then bend your elbows so your fingertips touch your shoulder. Inhale, push arms and legs straight out. Open, close legs. Exhale, tuck your knees. Bend your elbows. Inhale, push. Open, close. Exhale, top and then bend. Inhale, push. Open, close. Top and bend. Inhale, push. Open, close. Top and bend. Inhale, push. Open, close. Top and three more. Inhale, push. Open, close. Top and two more. Inhale, push, open, close. Tuck one more. Inhale, push, open, close. Tuck and bend. Now listen. Inhale, push, stay. You're just open and close your legs. Out, in, out, pull, out, pull, out, pull. Four, three, two, one. Hold it. Rebend the knees. Rebend the elbows. Rest your head down. Woo. All right. Let's work on our leg circles. Right leg to the ceiling, nice and straight. You're locking, you can remain bent with your foot on the mat, or simply push your left leg out straight. Arms at our sides, comes to the side, right leg crosses to the left, circles out and up. We're drawing that nice, large beach ball on the ceiling directly above us. And we're making sure there's no movement in the rest of the body. That I want you to relax your neck. Soften your face. Get rid of all that tension. Put all that tension into the stretched leg. Last two. One more circle. And let's go the other way. Out first and then in and up. Final two. One more to go. And then just hang out right there. Don't bring your other leg up. All right. And on the inhale, we're going to lower halfway. Exhale, sweep the legs around. They come back together. Inhale down. Exhale around. Inhale down. Exhale around. So we're making really sure that we're not engaging that lower back to do this. We're going to be using that belly. Inhale down. Exhale around. Inhale down. Exhale last two. Inhale down. Exhale, try one more, guys. Inhale down, exhale around, and let's hold it now, switch legs. So now the left toes are going to be on the ceiling, our right knee is bent, or we can push our right leg out straight. Left leg crosses right, circles up and up. Oh, yeah. We're feeling that nice long stretch in that left leg. We're keeping the rest of the body cemented to our mat. Let's do one more. And now go the other way. Out first and then in and up. Final two. One more. And then just keep your leg lifted. Now, bring your other leg up. So again, legs are going to sweep out, come together, exhale, come up, inhale around, exhale, pull, sweep around, and lift, inhale around, exhale, pull, inhale around, exhale, pull, inhale around, exhale, inhale, two more set size, inhale around, one more set, inhale around, exhale and hold it, now both legs circle around to your right, and then come back around to your left. So shrink these circles up. They're going to stay about the size of a basketball. 
And I want you to get your toes to the right above your nose. That's how straight you want to keep those legs. Let's try last two steps. And then the last circle. And we're there. Knees come in. Ah, oh, feels good. Nice little breath. All right, now let's roll up. All right, now that we're up, we're going to turn into little balls and we're going to roll like a ball. Get your thighs nice and close to your body. We're going to touch our big toes with our heels open. Relax our shoulders, drop our chin to our chest. Now we're just looking at your belly button the whole time. Level two people, we can cross the hands over the front of our shins. So using only the belly to roll us back and to pull us back up. And do these at your own pace. Let's try it one more. And the completion of our final rules, make sure you're still all tucked in nice and tight. And then we're ready for our single leg stretch. So we're going to keep the right hand and then roll yourself back until the back of your wrist stay on the mat. And then control yourself. Left hand goes to top your right knee. Right hand goes to top your right ankle. Open your elbows and let's alternate. Knee all the way up to your chest and your toes all the way across the room. Eight, six, four, three, two, stay. Switch stay. Switch stay. Switch left two. One more. And hold it. Double leg stretch right into that. We've got both knees tucked in. Hands on your ankles, your shins, or the tops of your feet. Inhale as the arms start reaching up. We're going to stretch behind as the legs extend out. Exhale. Sweep around knees. Come in. Inhale. Stretch. Exhale. Pull. So we know when we're doing these that we're not letting the shoulders, neck, and head drop down. We're going to take a break if we need to, but we're not going to lower that upper body every single time. We're holding it up. Final two. Final one here. And then just hang out. I'm ready for straight single leg stretch. Right leg is straight up. We're aiming for that right ankle with our hands. Calf works just fine, but don't go below that. Get your left leg up nice and straight, and I'll start drawing your right knee towards your face. And then pulling your left leg away from your face. Let me switch. So remember, we're still looking at our belly button. We have not let our head drop back. And we're thinking about doing a split on the ceiling. Guide your legs gently, no forcing, no yanking. That's time four. Three, two, and one. Now bring both legs together. Rest your head down for that moment. And now, bum and index finger triangle goes under your butt. That's going to be for level one. And that's going to help your lower back and your belly. Level two, keep your butt on the mat. Show me that triangle, rusty one like on the back of your head. Let's come on back up into our C shape and we inhale, drop the legs slowly. One, two, three, exhale, step up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull. So this is double straight leg stretch. And again, we're not using our lower back. Strong, powerful movements. Last two. Try one more. And then just hold yourself. Everybody rest your head down, pull your knees in. We're going to finish off that series with crisscross. So we're coming back up into our C shape. Our right knee remains pulled in. Our triangle goes on the back of our head. Get those elbows wide. And let's alternate the legs. Stretch them nice and straight. And notice 
how there's no movement in the pelvis, or three, two, stay there, lift a little higher. Now bring opposite armpit to your knee and then we'll switch. Lift twist, 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 lift twist. Let's do eight. And six. And four. Three, two, one. Hold. Switch, hold. Switch two more, switch one more, switch and hold. In go your knees, and down goes your head. Ah. Woo. All right, from there, let's rest our feet down, open your arms wide. Let both of our knees fall to the right and move left. That's a good stretch for the waist. Come on, back up, and simply go the other way. Drop, drop, drop. Good, and then back to neutral, and again, bring your knees in, and let's hold up. All right, so now that we're upright, we're gonna bend our knees, and let's build our first teaser. So for teaser pose, we're gonna keep the back straight, the head lifted, and we're gonna engage the abdominals, and that's what's gonna support the back. So pull that tummy in, and balance on your tail bones. Once you're ready, we'll start lifting the feet, no worries about getting your legs straight, just don't allow your back to round, all right? Once you have that minute balance, bend the arms. And then draw some circles up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You want to the stretch hold. And now we'll adjust your legs. And reach way high to the sky. Good, now let's try arms moving wide. And we're going to sit with our legs pressed together and our back nice and straight. And if you feel like you need to, roll up a mat or sit on a pillow or a block to make sure that you can keep your back and your legs straight for this one. We're going to do seated twist. As we exhale, we're going to rotate to one side, inhale to back to center. Exhale, twist to the other side, inhale center. So you've got twist, pulse, center. 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 Let's try three more. Last two. And one more. Twist, twist, center, and stay. So let's release the arms. We'll do a couple rolling shoulders from back to front. Woo! All right, from here, we're going to transition onto hands and knees. So whatever way works best for you to get to your hands and knees. Once there, nice flat back. Shoulders over wrists, fingers spread out nice and wide. Nice long line from your tailbone to the top of your head. Let's extend the right arm and the left leg out, stretching, and then exhale, come closed. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stretch. A couple more times. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, one more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. Separate your knees, let your big toes touch, push your tailbone back to your heels, and let your chest drop between your knees. Meanwhile, we've got our forehead resting on the mat, and we're stretching out for our fingertips. Let's turn our palms open to the sky a little bit more and continue to pull back with that tailbone. Go ahead and then flip your palms back over, scoop your belly in out and around up for a good cat stretch. Take your navel, lift your tailbone, and open your heart to the Exhale, let's round again if you can. Inhale, open for cat. Again, exhale, round and open for cat. And then inhale, open for cat. Good, and then just make your way back to that neutral place. Big toes together again, let's push back. And we're back in extended chest. Now I want you to tuck your toes under and we're going to start building downward facing dog. So once you've made it with that tailbone in the air, let your head drop through your arms. 
Feel your rib cage pulling closer and closer to your thighs. And feel the back of your shoulder blades drawing towards your gluteals. Press your weight into the index finger knuckles so you can actually lift the outer edge of your palm a little bit, taking away any stress from your wrists. Now I want you to paddle your feet, just walk your dog individually, lift and lower each heel. And then we're going to raise our heels together and press them back down. Now let's strike in heeling forward into plank. Eyes looking out, we've got a nice straight line to our body. I want you to relax your buttocks, but push through the back of your inner knees. Press back up into downward facing dog. And again, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale, into plank. One more time. Press back into down dog. And then I want you to ease down on all fours. Once there, let's extend the right leg all the way back behind us. Push out through your heel. Reach the left arm forward into your spinal balance. And then just bring your left hand down. And step your right foot forward. So it comes right up between your hands. Let's keep our knee over our ankle and then start to lift your upper body. And the arms to the sky and show me press the boot. And then we'll open the arms wide and I want you to hinge forward so that you can bring your ribs close to your front thigh. And there is just an airplane. Let your hands return to the mat. Let's tuck our left toes under. Lift your left knee, bringing you into runner's lunge. And remember, in runner's lunge, we're looking out. So we feel a straight line from the heel of our left foot, running right up to the top of our head. Now let's step our right foot back in the plank. Once there, press yourself up in the down dog. And then let's come back down. To all fours. And now we're ready to switch. So let's see, we send the left leg back this time and the right arm forward. And then bring your right hand down and step your left foot forward. So now your left foot's between your hands. Once there, let's rise up and there's our pressing board. And we'll open the arms wide, stay long in the waist, hinge forward. And then let your hands return to the mat. Tuck your right toes under. And that brings us into one inch lunge. Nice long line. We're going to feel our right foot right up to the top of our head. From there, we're going to step our right foot forward. And you're going to let your big toes meet with your heels apart. I want you to pull your rib cage into your thighs, so perhaps you have to bend your knees, that's okay. Meanwhile, our upper body is going to be lift like a rag doll. You're going to nod your head yes a few times. Shake your head no. And then just let your body move. Let it let the inhale slowly roll up. Let's go ahead and reach high to the sky. Exhale into our heart. Again, inhale to the sky and exhale, pull forward. Inhale down, exhale, melt deeper. Again, inhale, let's roll up. Reach high, touch the sky, and exhale to our heart. Inhale again, and exhale, pull forward. Inhale look out, exhale back down, and we roll back up. Reach high to the sky. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Now let your arms extend long at your sides, palms facing forward, standing mountain pose. So let's inhale again to the sky. Exhale to fold the body forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink deeper. Let's take a giant step back with our right foot. And that's going to bring us into runner's lunge. 
Once there, we're going to push the heel to the mat, turn those toes out, align our front heel with our back heel, and then begin to lift up the body. One scrub, one feet, those hip bones facing forward. We want our shoulders stacked over our hips. We're going to add the arms to the sky. Feel your shoulders fall away from your ears and breathe in toward one. So now let the arms go wide. And let's start to pull that front leg straighter and straighter without locking. From there, we're going to rotate ourselves around so we end up facing the side of our mat with our toes and our heels out, our outstretched arms, our palms facing open, and five feet in star. From here, I want you to flip your palms to face down, and then rotate so your palms actually face behind you, and we're going to bring the backs of our hands together. And then I want you to flip your palms around so they're actually pressing together. Place all of your fingers. We'll press our index fingers together. And then start to lift the arms without lifting your shoulders. Let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Now let your shin drop to your chest. And then we'll bring our head back to neutral. Let's reopen the arms, the back into our star. Good, now turn your front toes to face the front end of your mat. Align your heel with your back arch. So your foot position is a little bit different. Front of the body is still facing the long end of your mat. You're going to bend that front knee. And we're going to look right over our forward hand and feel that stretch across the room. Now lift that back arm so it's alongside your ear. And then I want you to pull your front leg straight once again. Reach a little farther with the front arm, and as you're lifting the front arm, you're lowering the back arm. And once that front arm is all the way up, rotate your palm to face the sky. And there is our reverse triangle. Now let's come back to our start position and build our triangle. So we're pulling our back hip behind us and we're stretching that forward arm out as far from her as we can reach. Once we can't get any further, let's lower the front arm, lift the back hip. And you want to make sure that your shoulder is directly above your other shoulder, that reaching hand is directly above your shoulders, so we're not rolling back. Good, now take that reaching arm, bend at the elbow, and try to get the back of your hand to press into your lower back. And this is our version of bound triangle. From there, let's go ahead and bend our front knee. Place your forearm on your thigh. And there's our version of just plain you know, old bound angle. Now take that bent arm. We're going to bring it up and around. I want you to revolve your upper body. Lift onto the ball of your back foot, and that brings you back into your lunge. If you'd like to modify, you can simply drop down onto that knee. We're going to press the hand into the mat, and then as we inhale, start opening the arm, revolve at the waist, and there's our twisting lunge. Now let's bring that hand down. Step your foot back into your plank. Let's press ourselves up into down dog. Let's walk our dog a few more times. Lift up those your heels. And press the back down. Good. Now let's step forward with our right foot. Bringing us back into our lunge. Now we're ready to sink our back heel down, turn those toes out. 
align your heels. And then when you're ready, start lifting. And we're pressing into our big toe, second toe of our front foot. That's where we want to keep our weight in that foot. We've got our hips square. We've got our shoulders over our hips. And then we can add the arms. And that gives us our warrior one. Yeah, now let the arms start to open wide. And we'll pull our front leg straight. And now we're rotating. So that's going to bring us back around, and we're facing the wide edge of our mat. Arms facing open. We've got our toes in slightly, heels out slightly. Good. So now I want you to flip your palms over. And start lifting the arms, and we're going to press the back of our hands together overhead. And then flip your palms around so they meet overhead. We'll lace all of our fingers, press our palms towards the sky, and then let the arms come forward, feeling a really deep stretch across the top of the back of that of our shoulders. Let's rotate our palms to face us as if we're hugging a large ball in front of us. And let's open the arms wide and that'll bring us back into our star. From there, we're going to turn our front toes to the front end of our mat. Align our front heel with our back arch this time. Stay facing the wide edge of your mat and then start to bend the right knee, bringing us into warrior two. Good, and then from there, let's pull the leg straight once again. We lift the back arm so it's alongside our ear. Reach a little farther out with that front arm, and as you're lifting that front arm, you lower the back arm. Rotate your palm towards the sky, and there's our reverse triangle. And then from there, let's bring the arms back open, and we're right back where we started. Allowing us to build our triangle. We're starting to pull back with our hip, extend that forward arm as far out as it will go once we can't really further. Simply lower your front arm and lift that back arm. And visualize yourself doing this against the wall. You want that reaching hand towards the sky, directly over the shoulder. Want to feel our back pressed against the wall. Now let's bend the elbow of the extended arm so that we can get the back of our hand into that lower back. And there's our down triangle. And then on our next exhale, we can bend the front knee, rest our forearm on that front thigh, and still keep opening that shoulder into your bound angle. Let's take that bent arm, start to reach it up towards the side, and we're revolving the upper body, let your hands meet the mat, lift the ball of your back foot, bringing you back in the lunge. So we can stay like this, or again, modify by sinking down onto your back knees. Press your hand into the mat, open that arm to the side, and let's revolve with the waist. And there's our twisting lunge. Exhale that hand back down. Take a giant step back, show your plank. Press yourself up into downward facing dog. A few more walks of our dog. Lift up your heels and send them back down. Good, now let's step forward with our left foot. 
One's there. Bring the right foot forward. Also, big toes meet. Heels apart. Let's roll up. Let's reach up high to the sky. Exhale, hands to our heart. And then let your arms come along at your sides. And we're back in the mountain pose. So let's do a little work on our balance. I want you to find a focal point for your eyes. Fixate on that spot. Think about holding your belly button tight to your spine. And then begin to shift your weight into your right foot. Feel the majority of your right foot weight into your big toe and the big toe. And then place your left ankle or your left heel against your right ankle. Now let your hands come in front of your heart. And when you feel ready, you're going to lift your toes off the floor. And then try extending your arms towards the sky, growing the branches of your tree. And let the arms open. You can set the foot back down. And that brings us back into mountain pose. And now we'll do the other side. So again, really engage the abdominals. Start to shift your weight into your left foot. Place your right heel on your left ankle bone. We've got that focal point for our eyes. We're bringing our hands to our heart. And then we're going to lift that right foot off the floor. Try growing the branches of your tree. And then we'll let the arms open. We can place our foot back down. And that brings us back into mountain pose. All right, so now for mountain pose, let's bring our hands back in front of our heart. I want you to bend your knees, and as you're doing that, think about pulling your knees closer together and sitting your butt down. Keep your heart away from your thighs. And then add your arms alongside your ears. And there's our chair pose. Now start to hinge forward. As you're doing that, you can let your legs go straighter and straighter. Inhale, let's look out. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Press your ribs against your thighs. Cradle your elbows in the palms of your hands to form a frame. And then just let your head drop in that frame. Now let your fingertips return to the mat. Let's take a step back with our right foot into our lunge. And then sit down onto your right knee. Let's bring both hands to the inside of our left foot. We'll move into our dragon pose. I want you to start pulling the top of your right thigh towards the mat. And if you want a little bit more stretch, you can bend the elbows and sink your forearms closer to the mat. Meanwhile, we want to make sure that left knee is over the ankle. Now let's walk the hands in closer. And let's take the left leg and extend it behind us and just push out through that left heel. All right, and then we're going to keep our right hand positioned directly beneath our shoulder. Let's turn the body and open and show me that modified version of side and leg. You want to go into the full version. Just set that bottom leg out straight as well. Let's exhale ourselves back around. Push, push, push back up into down dog. And then let's come back down onto all fours. And now we're ready to switch legs. Let's bring the right foot forward. Both hands stay to the inside of your right foot. And we start to pull the front of our left side forward. Again, you can walk your hands out a little further. Let your forearms stay closer to the mat. Keeping our knee over our ankle, breathing into that hamstring of the right leg and the hip flexor of the left leg. Mm -hmm. 
And then let's walk the hands back in. Now we'll take our right leg, extend it behind us, push out through the right heel, add your left arm forward. And then let's set the left hand down and start to open into our side plank. You want to do that full version, we simply stretch out the bottom leg also. It's a sad, sad situation. Let's exhale the back around. And let's all push back up into down dog. A few more walks of our dog. And then raise your heels. And rest the back down. And then let's all come back down onto all fours. Let's run all fours. We'll inch our way back down and have a seat. And then once we're seated, we're sitting up nice and tall and straight. Going to bend our knees a little bit. Hook around your big toes with your second and third fingers. And then from there, pull your ribs against your thighs and start to push your legs straighter and straighter while you continue to melt down into those thighs. Now let's release our toes and come up. Good. And then let's keep our back leg straight. Bend the front knee. Walk your foot in as close as you can. And still make sure that you're contacting the mat with those sit bones. We'll take the back arm and wrap it around the bent knee. Inhale, I want you to sit really tall and straight. And then as you exhale, rotate at your waist so we're looking over our back shoulder. And then take that front arm and see if you can pass it around so it comes to the outside of your opposite hip. Good. Exhale as we untwist. We'll stretch that leg out. And let's try again with the other side. So we're going to bend our knee, walk our foot in nice and close. And then from there, wrap the opposite arm around. Inhale, sit taller and straighter. And then exhale, start looking over your shoulder. And then try wrapping your arm around. So the back of your hand is pressing into your opposite hip. And then as we exhale, let's untwist. And we'll send that leg out. But now again, we're going to keep our knees a little bit bent. Reach for those big toes again. Press your ribs into your thighs. And then start straightening your legs while you maintain your ribs against your thighs. And it completely melt. And then as we inhale, let's roll back up. And then once it's rub, we'll bend our knees. Place our hands behind our thighs. Relax our shoulders. Nice straight spine. We'll lift our feet. We're going back into our teaser. Going where we can. Adding the arms. And then I want you to open your arms wide. And start to open the body down, down, down to the ground. Once we're down, we're pressing into the floor like the letter T. Good, and then let's bend our knees and walk our feet in. Bring your arms in closer to your body. Tighten your belly and let's come back up in the bridge. And once you've made it into bridge, I want you to clasp your hands beneath your body. Try to walk your shoulder blades a little closer together and press your knuckles into the mat. Make sure there's no weight in your neck. You're feeling this in your gluteals, in your hamstrings, your abdominals, and a good stretch across the front of the shoulders and the chest. And then let's release our hands. 
And inch by inch, we melt our spine back into the mat until it's oh so soft again against the mat. We're not feeling any pressure points at all. You can rotate your palms open to the sky. And then from there, let's slide our legs out one leg at a time. I want you to close your eyes and just melt into your mat. As we're breathing in, we're breathing in lots of energy, lots of hope. We're exhaling out all of our stress and all of our fears. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let your breath circulate all around the body. Find those little nooks and crannies. Breathe into those spots. Get rid of those areas that give you issues by really using your breath to send them away. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. People living in the world agree there will be an answer. Let it be. There is still a chance that they will see. There will be an answer. Let it be. Thank you. 